For our last shot, we're using the frosting tip over the phone flashlight to create a sort of snoot. Hold on, Pi, they have no idea what you're talking about or why you're even using a phone flashlight. Let's rewind. How do people do this? So for a while, we've actually been thinking of what to do on YouTube, and I think I've got the idea. We've been in this zone of creating professional training systems. Let's get back to the basics. Shiv! Shivani! You're in the bathroom? We're waiting for Shiv to finish her ladylike duties. Welcome to episode one, nighttime portraits with nothing but the flashlight on your phone. We'd like to thank Canon for sponsoring this video and making this content possible. Of course she enters on her phone. What are you doing? Did you wash your hands? Everybody knows us for a training system, but on YouTube, I feel like I wanna get back to creating just fun stuff. I wanna do back to the basics, like a series of YouTube videos where we use nothing. Each episode is like kind of short, it's fun, but we have to have like rules. Who gets to design the rules? Are you designing the rules? Cause then I feel like that's not fair. If I get to design the rules, then I'm down. How about that? You already run my life <laughs> in every possible way. Why don't we do like later today? You wanna do a nighttime session? Yeah. So we have the, the R, now we only get one lens. Since it's nighttime, we'll give you like a tripod. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go with the 35 Prime then. Just the light on your phone. You can pick like a couple of things that you want to use. Ready and go. We have to have a stand for this because otherwise I have to have an assistant hold it mm -hmm. and then all the interwebs are being like, yeah, but you had an assistant and I don't. That is the unanimous voice of any complaint over the internet. Wait, 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 wait. Model, I need a model. You look lovely, you're dressed up today, let's use you. Actually, we should make that one of the rules that we can't use anything like professional, which includes models, for this entire series. I'm down with that. Things like this, like a cake topper, this is basically gonna be like our Zoom dish for controlling. Damn it! You can control it and like get it to go where we want it to go. The life of a dad. Hello, I got you a high chair, bro. Don't mind the fork, that's it's for PT, one of you. Bro. There you go. Some oh, jams on it, dog. Oh, we can't. Yep, Stay I tuned. got your jams right here. Both of which affect impulse control and psychological adjustment. In fact, the portion of the brain that is responsible for controlling impulse is not fully mature until the early 20s. While driving, we passed by a dental office and I noticed a large red sculpture as well as an overhang with some interesting lines. It served as the perfect place to start the shoot, especially since that overhang created some much needed shade as it was still quite bright outside. Don't touch this. For the first shot, I had Shivani sit down and then I placed the iPhone onto the stand and lit her from the right side. She's sitting down low so that I can then position the camera to shoot through the lines of the sculpture and into Shivani's portrait. I'm not a model, I'm just a person. Because of our overhang, the phone flashlight is creating adequate power to be our main light and we get the shot here. For the next shot, I noticed that if you looked through the sculpture, you had this beautiful diagonal opening where we could actually place and frame Shivani's portrait. The trick was the outside of the sculpture was still very bright. I only had one lens. So this is where the EOS R's crop mode became quite useful. Keep in mind that the crop mode still does crop down resolution to around 12 megapixels, which makes it much less useful than if it still retained 30 megapixel images. However, it's still useful as a compositional tool to dial in the exact composition that you want when you intend to crop and post. This allowed me to frame out the brighter outside areas of the sculpture and to only shoot the inside darker area to get this beautiful graduation which you see in the image here. Before leaving the dental office, I wanted to utilize the leading lines of that ceiling and overhang to create a very strong portrait of Shivani. So we placed the camera down low and I'm still using the 1.6 crop mode to get the right composition. I placed Shivani over one of the lights in the scene to create a natural vignette and with all the lines leading into her, we then used the phone flashlight to light paint with a one second exposure down Shivani's side. We did this a couple times just to prevent ghosting as Shivani had to hold perfectly still to get the shot. Whoa, I look bored. Cool. 
Next, we came to a parking structure and on the rooftop, we had these walls that we could use that simply provided a solid backdrop for Shivani. I play Shivani against the wall and I use the copper pipe to lend imperfections and shapes to the phone flashlight. Oftentimes, I feel like a less than perfect light is what makes images dynamic and interesting to look at. The copper pipe not only shapes the light into a circular pattern, it also gives me a beautiful hot spot which I can place right over her eye to draw attention into. For the final shot in this scene, I use a technique of light painting that's quite handy when you only have one light but you want to create a shot that has multiple light sources. I use the light in the background and on Shivani in four different ways to create four differently lit shots. Now Shivani has to hold still throughout this entire time and you'll notice the camera is also on a tripod because what we do from there is combine all four of these layers into Photoshop and then simply mask in the light where we want it to appear. For our next location, we selected the closed storefronts of downtown Santa Ana. And in particular, we found the fencing on these storefronts to be interesting compositional elements, especially when you shoot from the side of them and use them as patterns and elements that kind of lead into your subject. Once again, to create a more interesting and dynamic lighting pattern, I'm actually holding the cologne bottle over the light and using it to create streaks of light that I position directly over Shivani's left eye in frame. In the same scene, we adjust Shivani's pose and position to lean up against the fencing. From there, you'll see me grabbing the frosting tube and I'm using a little bit of gaff tape to tape it onto the phone. This allows me to essentially snoot the flashlight in the phone and to create a very controlled light which I can then place exactly where I want in the scene. For this shot, I'm using as little power on the phone flashlight as possible. You can do this by dialing it down or simply increasing the distance because for the scene, I want to leave my exposure very bright. I'm at 1 20th f1.4 and ISO 800 to let a lot of light in. Then we're using the snooted phone light to simply add a kiss of light that draws our viewer's attention into Shivani's face and features. Finally, for our last shot, we found this great lone storefront with this neon red lone sign that created beautiful lighting in our background and you can see it land all over Shivani in her hair. We placed Shivani in front of it and gave her a strong pose because this is a very strong and dynamic scene. From there, we used again the snooted phone light to just add a little punch of light into Shivani to brighten her up and to clear the red off the face. so much for watching guys we hope you enjoyed what we created today and as you can see we use just a mobile device flashlight and some really weird modifiers that Pi found in his room if you guys want to see more videos like this our back to basics series then let us know in the comments like what suggestions you have we would love to hear ideas from you guys make sure you guys subscribe so you can see more videos and we will see you in the next one oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> burst, dude What Seriously? if all the pictures suck? That's a possibility. No, it's not. You're the photographer. I'm taking the big what? Oh. Try it, Jimmy. Listen, don't irritate me. I'm hungry, all right? Just leave me alone. Yeah, how's Joey? I thought um, she was going to hit me right now. Geez. I was like flinching. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. What the hell? You can't put that in there. Are you shooting my sweet bag? Yep. I'm trying to look inconspicuous. Like a, not like a professional, like a tourist. How am I supposed to sit in this? Where? Shout out to all the brown people watching. I know hey, you understand my nose problem. Wanna see? Are you done? Because I'm not gonna get back in this position. Well, let me see that. You have a lion's mane for hair. Yeah. I know you're jealous because you're balding and you're a male in your late 30s. No, bro. There's a spider just to your left. <laughs> it's a spider! It's the size of an ant! 
Oh my gosh, that's a step. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> what if I just speared you? What? If I want you, uh, want to tell you two what just happened. We took a picture. <laughs> I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the pipe. <laughs> okay, Mario. <laughs> what you want to bet? There's gonna be something crazy up here. What something you want? crazy. Oh man, this sucks. Ain't nobody gonna hear with that little voice of yours. Come on up. I'm hungry.